Hi everyone. So today we're going to uh, enter data in a table and show you how to print the records uh, in a table in MS Access. So what we're going to do is we created a student uh, info database in our previous video and we're now going to actually open it up and type in the data. So the data that we're going to type in is over here and once you open up the uh, open up access the particular database that you've created uh, in order for you to get into the the screen where you can actually type the data is that you can either click on view but you'll notice that view is highlight is is grayed out right which means that that, that it is inactive so we can't click on that so now what we can do is we can click on level four. So if we double click on it, it will go straight to the, uh, the entering of data. You'll notice that I've already entered the first uh, student and their details. Um, and then you'll also notice that it will say your student number. And like in Excel, we have that black cross with the two arrows on either side. And that we use to make the column wider. Okay. Um, You'll also notice that you've got hashtags over here. It's only because the column, again, is too small. So we have to make it uh, bigger. So we're going to extend that column. Okay. Um, and then you'll also notice, so we are ready to, to type up our next one. You'll also notice um, as soon as I start typing, it will automatically um, create the ID as number two. Okay. So you don't have to type that in. So now we'll go straight into student number. Okay, and you must type it in the way that they've asked you in terms of um, uppercase or lowercase. So it's capital letters for uh, PA. And then we're going to type in the surname or the name. And in the exams, it's very important that you do type it in correct uppercase or lowercase because they deduct marks for that. Okay, so once we come to the date of birth, uh, there's a little uh, calendar over here that you can click on. And then uh, it's asking us for the 7th of September. We're currently in June of 2020. Um, so what we can do is we can select September the 7th, it says here. So we're going to select 7th of September. However, we're going to change the year. So instead of using those um, arrows to scroll to the year, we're merely just going to do it manually. So the year should be 1995. And that is that. Okay, so the next thing it says hostel. So this student won't be staying at the hostel, so we will not tick the box. Okay, and in the subjects that the, person, the student will be doing is uh, are four subjects. So we'll click on that and we'll delete the the four or the zero sorry and then we'll type in four okay um you use your cursor keys to move along and then you also type in the the deposit paid okay so the deposit paid is 1200 and you'll notice that um the setting is with a comma so please make sure that you type with a comma okay because otherwise it will actually give you an error message so there you have it now also notice you've got those hashtags so what does that mean it means that we need to just make the column wider and there you have it so it gives you and if you remember our um, uh, our field with the properties and the data type was long date so there you have the the long um the long date okay um so now we have the next one which is and it's for stander and stander was born on the 9th of march so I'll click on my calendar, I'll go to the left until I reach March and the 9th 
and then I'll change the year manually to 1995. Okay, and here it says the standard will be staying at Tostel, so I will merely just click on um, the box and a tick will appear and uh, it would indicate yes, standard will be um, staying at Tostel. Okay, and then again, finally, it's just the, num the subjects, so you use your cursor. And then the last one is your, you just have to move your cursor, guys, and then just type in type in um, the values. So you've got, they'll also be um, uh, using or paying 1,200. Okay, and then the last one, which is number four, and it's B O one four five five and then we've got Bolwana Bolo Wana sorry and then we have finally the January the second and 1999, 1999, and they will also, Polo will also be staying at the hostel, and then we've got um, the number of subjects is four, and it's 1,200, 1,200, and you'll notice I didn't even type in comma zero zero, I think it will automatically move to comma zero zero because we created it as two decimal places okay so there you have it you've typed it all in and now uh, we need to print it okay so how do we print it we merely will go into file just make, please make sure that your your columns the field names are visible uh, that it's um, yeah that you can see it like here for example sorry deposit paid is not visible so I'm going to just make that wider and that everything should be fine in terms of uppercase, lowercase and the details. Okay, so we're ready to print. So we'll go to file and we can actually just um, minimize that so that you can see where we're going. So we'll go file, we'll go to print and if we print preview, you'll notice there it is in portrait. Um, but you can't see all the information, so we're going to change it to landscape, and there you have it. Okay, and this is how you, and if you want to close the print, and uh, obviously, once you've got it, you're going to click on the print button, and, and there you have it. And if you'd like to go back to the original screen, you just say close print preview, and you'll go back to the original screen if you had to make any changes. Thank you, everyone.